So here it is, your first look at two XU1s. Shadow Mauve, Loader Ranger. Been sitting in these sheds for over 36 years or longer. Um, get them out of here and then they'll be back home and I'll start restoring them. But you know, unusual to find a find like this. After 40 years, she comes out and sees the light of day. Radio, giving this old girl a wash. First wash. CK Bathurst Lone Ranger. Excellent inside. Very little work to do. I'm going to give it a sympathetic restoration, which means I'm not going to go for a full registry resto. I'll we'll probably go for driving it for a while, as is, a little bit of patina, and probably a paint job at some stage just to uh, sort things out. But as you can see, there's no dents, no rust. Just taking off the side strips, giving her a wash. And then I'm going to drive her, get her on the road. And you're looking at the CKX1 motor. Thing of beauty. Actually, there's so much about this car that has been untouched. All the uh, interior was basically like new, still rolling out of the factory. Um, it just seemed like it was new. I mean, all those zincs uh, were still there for the bolts. I can actually give had a clean up there and I've got all the gauges working properly all the interior of the carpet came out it's all come back into one piece um, it's all idling and running really really well brakes go in on Friday they're going off to get reconditioned and put new front and rear calipers on the whole way around new uh, uh, discs as well I'll put a replacement heater box in for now because the other one's going off to get done and uh, this one here will basically just run as it is, it's got um, I've got a carbon tuning kit, so I'll do that. But um, new, new uh, chrome bumper bar on as well. Going to keep the back one and just clean it up. But hopefully, should be on the road this Friday. Take it for a drive, and then it's going to go to a uh, another place just so I can have a look underneath on a hoist and start playing around with all the leaks. The engine will come out because I'm going to respray it. The, uh, the previous owner rebuilt it and. Um, uh, painted it the wrong colour, so I'll just bring it out, check for other leads, respray it, put it back in once that won't take long. Um, and besides that, I'm just going to drive around and enjoy it, clean up the body, um, give it a polish, get a couple of small things corrected on the body, but just enjoy it and drive it. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching this so far. There's a bit more to come uh, around when I get it on the road, but to give you some sort of an idea, you can actually see the, the bumper as well, just a quick polish and looks like that. So uh, wheel trims go on tomorrow and uh, she'll just keep on keeping on I guess. Get the seats fixed at some stage. Uh, that'll be uh, not too far away. Just get the re stitching done but keep the original uh, stitching. But you know look, it looks like the day it came out of the factory in some areas. So I'm quite happy with this car and I will drive it and you'll sit on the road soon. Cheers. Chateau Mauve 1972 LJ actually won in pretty much original condition so she's got paint fade but she's certainly been looked after beautiful car inside and out bit of work to do to get it right but it's straight and that's the main thing no rust I guess if somebody asks you what's the chances of finding an XG1 it's pretty I don't know, it's still not going to be easy, but um, to find two is almost impossible. So I'm going to just get these back to my place um, and I'll go through them in detail down the track when I pull them out. This is Chateau Mauve, this one. Bodywork on this will just go through a paint job. I, I won't go too crazy with this car because there's no rust in it, so I'm just going to get it worked on. And I'm hoping underneath these seats, because there's an elderly gentleman that had them, they're in good nick, which they are. So look, you know, there's going to be quite a few videos on these cars as I go. Um, they've done, apparently, I'm just going to check, they've done around the 90 something thousand k's, yep, yeah, that one's in miles, and the other one, the Loner Ranger's done the same, it's around 90,000 miles. The Loner Ranger had a, uh, five litre in it for a short period of time, but then the original engine was put back in. This has an NL block, 
which means that the JP engine must have detonated early in its life because it was replaced by Holden. But all tags are in place. Um, Providence is there on the vehicle, chassis number's fine, and it's straight with no rust. So, Shadow Mauve, um, beautiful car. You know, very lucky to get these cars. I think they're falling into the right hands because you will know that I do a pretty good job and I will be putting this one back together like it rolled out of the factory. So keep watching. Cheers. So I've had a lot of feedback on these particular cars and this is your first real look at the Shadow Move uh, LJ GDR X1. It's built in June 1972. It's untouched. It hasn't had accident repairs. All the doors haven't come off. All your stainless moulds are still nice and straight and correct. Um, doors shut as they should. If we get into the interior, this has obviously had seat covers on it, so they've been kept in pretty good nick. It's got 97,000 original miles. Carpet's actually not too bad as well. Dash has a couple of cracks on it. Roof lining's in really good condition. Back seat's in really good condition. Seat belts are in good condition. And the door shut and sound like a Tirana should. This is pretty light. Well, I tell the light. Like that. Um, working my way through the car, no rust anywhere on the bottom. Guard's never been off. All the uh, running gear is there. Triple one seven five CD has got the heater box that's going off for reconditioning. Um, you know, there's a few aftermarket bits on this engine. That's an NL block, so it's a replacement block under warranty by Holden because JP engines had an issue with spun bearings in '72, so it's quite common. But it is the correct warranty block for a XU1. Uh, no damage here, and it's a hood locked interior. Um, setup so obviously for security reasons got some aftermarket driving lights in there you can see on the guards all original no rust which is really handy but i've also polished a part of this car so you can actually see the original paint coming through it's not too bad so i'm going to treat this one as a survivor car uh this one here doesn't warrant a road history restoration because I don't think it's going to do it justice. You get Sprint Masters put back on here. We've got the original set that matched the year for this particular car, and you can see that I've even polished just a little bit of the bumper bar here to get what well, I can get out of it as far as originality is concerned. But overall, a beautiful car. Very lucky to find this one. 36 years sitting in a shed, waiting for the day to come back out again. And this one's going to go off to get some work done already. And you'll get some more videos on this as we go. Hope you enjoy it, but um, I certainly have as far as finding them because I know they're sitting in the right hands. Keep watching. Here we are, it's a maiden voyage. After 36 years in the ship, she's uh, ready to go again. Master mechanic. Okay, so this is the Shadow Move LJ actually one that I found in a shed in August last year. It's had a lot of money spent on it to get it back to where it needs to be. Paintwork's been redone, obviously, on the outside, um, but it wasn't a full rotisserie uh, deal because it didn't need to be done. But the engine is now a period correct, date correct JP block. The warranty block we've still got for it. So this is in the process of being run in, uh, set up. And so it's going to go off and have all of its uh, exhaust put on it and then get the carbage tuned and then get a wheel alignment. There's lots of little micro adjustments that need to take place around here. But if you have a look at it, this thing is coming up really, really well. Um, and I can't wait to drive it again, uh, but I wanna make sure that I just play around with any micro adjustments before it hits the road. But you can see there's been a lot of time and effort put back into getting this one right. And um, she's coming up really well now. I mean, look at this bodywork. It's a beautiful car. And the interior, the only thing that's been done in this interior 
was a retrim of the front seat uh, because the base has had a couple of cracks in them, but the rest of it is original inside this car. Keep an eye out for this one, it's going to be back on the road in a week or so.